Welcome to Choose Life. I'm Pastor Gina Coleman. Welcome to Tuesday. Today is Tuesday. <laughs> let's just start calling, let's name it. So today we're going to name it Terrific Tuesday. Actually, every day is terrific if we're in the Lord, but I just want to switch it up a little bit. And I pray that you have a terrific day and that you just make the best of it. How about that? So first of all, I just want to tell y'all, I got my glasses, but they are too strong. <laughs> so I have to take them back and get them done. But I like them. What y'all think? I like them. I think they're really, really cool. Um, so yeah, I'm going to take them back uh, today and get them fixed. Something, new lenses, because I can't even see across the room because the prescription is too strong and I just need a light prescription in my glasses. So anyway, um, how is everybody doing? Leave me a comment. Let me know how you're doing. And I just wanted to say this, if you ever need um, personal prayer, feel free to text me, leave me a message or something, because I really do love praying for people. And um, I like to see when God has answered um, their prayers, all right? So I'm going to go ahead and pray. Father, we adore you, we magnify you. Lord, we thank you so much, God, for just all that you do for us. God, we thank you for the times that you keep your hand upon us and we're not even aware that you have kept us from dangers, Lord God. We thank you so much, God, for your agape love. We thank you for your unconditional love, Lord God. We thank you for providing everything that we have. We thank you for the plan that you have for our life, a plan, God, that um, leads us to an expected end. God, I thank you, God, that you think good thoughts towards us, Lord God. I thank you, Lord God, for Jesus. I thank you, God, for every single thing that I have. I thank you, Father God, for everything that... Not only that you brought me through, but the viewers through. And I thank you, God, that there's some things that you have prepared for us that we will receive from you in due time, God. So we're just grateful, God, for your word says for us to enter your gates with thanksgiving. And we praise you, Father God, for all the mighty works that you have done, God. How you've delivered us, how you've saved us, how you're still delivering us, how you love us, God, how, God, you just keep your hand upon us and that you watch over us, Lord. You bring us through seasons in our life, Lord God. We give you praise, God, for there were some times in our life, Lord God, where we thought that we would not going to be able to overcome it, Lord God. And I thank you. You brought us through. So I praise you and I magnify you in Jesus name. Amen. All right, so my eyes are itching. First of all, I just want to say this is being recorded tonight. Normally they're recording in the daytime, but between these glasses, the change of the weather, the pollen season, I had such a headache. Um, my eyes was hurting, so I had to come home and take a nap. I was out earlier, and I had to come home and take a nap, and it was good. And then I went out, and now my eyes are bothering me. So I probably uh, reuse my glasses to read, but other than that, and they're only for reading, but my last glasses that I had, they were just for reading, but every now and then I would like to wear them. I can't wear this. These things are so thick. Y'all see that? That's not, <laughs> that's not how it's, you know, my, even my husband was like, that's a bit much because you can never really see my prescription. Like anybody can pick my glasses up and use them. I, I don't know what that is. <laughs> But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get into the message. So I'm going to put them on because I can read with them on. But if I put my head down, but if I look up like this, oh no, I, I it's crazy. <laughs> All right. So for today, it says, let your love for me overwhelm you. I am never closer than when you worship, when your worship moves you to tears. When your heart of love begins to overflow with tearful expressions. I know you have seen my glory. You have tasted my goodness. You have taken a drink from my fountain of grace. You have, you, your hunger and thirst are being satisfied. And you are being fulfilled, renewed, and recharged. 
where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. I love it when your love for me overwhelms you. Praise God. We take these two strong glasses off. So it says, the Lord is saying unto us that he wants our love for him to overwhelm us. Um, when I read this, I was just thinking about how on Sunday, um, well, I hadn't been in church, in my church, in about a month because I was away um, helping my oldest daughter with her baby. And I was in church last Wednesday, but um, when I got up to, to pray yesterday, I just... I don't think it was, I was so happy being in the presence of God or the house of God, because I am always happy to be in, in the presence of the Lord. I just think that it was a time to worship the Lord, me, myself. Like, you know, sometimes on some Sundays or even in your home, sometimes you could just spend time with God. And then there's sometimes the goodness of God just begins to register or come up in your mind and you begin to be um, filled with tears, uh, emotions, adoration for the Lord. And that's what happened on yesterday, even to the, on Sunday rather, even to the point where, um, while I was crying, I'm like, wait a minute, <laughs> you know, I'm talking. And while I was crying, I was saying to myself, oh, wait, I'm really crying. Like I could feel my tears like hitting my face. That's how, um, much I was just, loving on the Lord. And so the Lord said he loves when our love for him overwhelms us. And it speaks about how, now let me put these glasses on y'all. <laughs> um, <clears throat> oh, sorry. I, I messed the page up. It says that he's never closer than when we, when our worship moves us to tears. Now that not every time that we cry, in worship, we're really close to God. Sometimes it's just different things going on, right? But he said, we have tasted his goodness. For sure, we have tasted his goodness. So I think one of the things that made me cry, which I am a crier all the time. Usually, I only cry about the presence of the Lord or, or gifts or something like that. One of the things that made me cry is that this young guy, well, not even a young guy, but a baby, probably like nine months, um, <clears throat> the Lord healed him from cancer. And that's just amazing to me. I mean, we've heard many miracles and I've seen uh, reports of miracles and, and just things like that, which you all have, right? But I think I was overwhelmed with love for God because of his goodness to the baby. I don't really know the parents personally. The father seems to know me. I have nowhere. I don't know where I know him from, but he seems to know me and he's uh, quite comfortable calling me big sis. And some months ago, he asked me to pray with him for his son. So I said, no problem. I can do it. I can agree with you um, about your son, you know, being healed. And so God healed him. So I was overwhelmed with love for the for the Lord because of his goodness and his mercy and his kindness. And that goes back to how we have tasted the goodness of God. There is no person living on the face of this earth that whether they know God, serve God, or do not serve God can say they have not tasted the goodness of God. The fact that you wake up every morning, it is the goodness of God and that we have things, it's the goodness of God. So we have tasted and we continually taste the goodness of God um, every single day. Every single day we experience the goodness of God. It says your hunger and thirst are being satisfied and you are being fulfilled, refilled rather, renewed and recharged. And so I thank God that he's doing these things for us in our time of worship, in our time of quietness, I thank the Lord that he is refilling us, renewing us, recharging us, restoring us. Any re that we need, the Lord is, <laughs> the Lord is doing it. All right. So I'm just going to get right into this, uh, scriptures because my head hurt and my eyes hurt. So, um, the first scripture is John 4, 24, which is a familiar verse. We all know it. And you know what, y'all, when I put these glasses on, I feel like 
an immediate headache begins to happen. Y'all ever put glasses on and they're too strong? Like when you're a little kid, you put glasses on, they belong to somebody, they're too strong. We're like, whoa, well, that's how I feel these glasses. So that's why they have to go back. All right, we know what the scripture says in John 4, 24, but I am going to read it. It says, um, I'm going to read 23 because it goes together. It says, yet a time is coming and now has come when the true worshipers will worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For they are the kind of worshipers the Father seek. God is spirit and his worshipers must worship in spirit and in truth. Now, I just want to reiterate, not every time that we cry in the presence of the Lord um, we are actually worshiping. Only God really knows really what we're doing, right? Because worship, um, it's out of a pure heart, but only God knows when we have a pure heart, right? So, but, but when we, when, when we cry, sometimes we are absolutely overwhelmed with the goodness and the love of God. Because in worship, what should happen, our minds should be reflecting on the goodness of God, which sometimes moves us to tears. All right. So the next uh, scripture, it says, that, well, let me just say that it says God is spirit and those that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. I believe worship is one. Well, let me just say this about worship. The highest form of worship is obedience. That's the highest form of worship unto God. We can sing all the songs we want, bow down, cry, everything that we want. But if we're not obedient, we're not worshiping. We're just going through the motion, right? Um, so I just want to share that with you. All right. So the next scripture is Psalms 34 and 8, which all these scriptures are absolutely familiar. We know them. You know what else, y'all? I am really, really hot. So just pray for me because I'm not feeling 100, but I do know it's it's because of the change of the the weather and these glasses <laughs> see look they make me look like i got big old eyeballs no i'm not <laughs> no i'm taking these glasses back anyway okay psalms 34 a says taste and see that the lord is good blessed is the one who takes refuge in him taste and see that the lord is good we know the lord is good you can look around in your house right now I don't care where you're at. You can look around and, and see that God is good. You can say that you have a little, and you may have a little, but God is good because he doesn't even have to give us the little that we have. So we think, right? Because the little that we have, some people would say, I would love to take, you know how some people like this little apartment or this old raggedy car. Some people would love to have the raggedy car, the little apartment, the little bit of clothes. Some people would love to have it. So we have to... um be grateful and the scripture says taste and see that the lord is good he is good he is good and blessed is the one who takes refuge blessed is the one who knows that the lord is good and you know what in my trials and trouble i'm gonna go and hide in the presence of the lord i'm gonna go to the lord because he is my refuge he is my refuge all right and the last scripture is this excuse me um it says um second corinthians three seventeen. i thank you all for bearing with me for the times where i fell short and could not make a video or maybe sometimes the the days i wasn't feeling good while the videos um while i posted the videos or the days like today where i'm just not i'm just not feeling the best right because of allergies and if you've ever dealt with allergies or the allergy season you know Sometimes you just don't feel good, right? So I just wanted to say thank you for bearing with me, right? So um, 2 Corinthians 3, 17 says this. Now the Lord is spirit. And where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. The Lord is spirit. And where the Lord is, there is liberty. So we just need to go ahead and just allow ourselves to be free in the presence of the Lord, free throughout the day to worship the Lord. I remember years ago, now I did work. A lot of people think that I didn't work. I held several jobs, just not very long. <laughs> um, I remember sitting at my desk. I worked at a design center and I was the hostess um, at the design center. And um, at times I was, you know, I was sitting at the front desk. We sold fabric and carpet in this place. 
And at times when it was slow, I would just sit at my desk and I would just worship the Lord. I would just worship the Lord um, because wherever I, the Lord is, which he's inside of me, I took the liberty and the freedom to go ahead and worship him. And I'm sure you all do the same thing at your job, in your car, wherever you're at, right? So God wants us to let our love for him overwhelm us. Yes, my Lord. Yes, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. I pray that we do that. So I'm going to put my glasses on again to read this prayer. I long to encounter your heart in a new way, to worship you in spirit and in truth, to press deeper into your love. Let this not be an occasional experience. Help me to press past my flesh and wandering mind to worship you completely. So this whole message is really about worshiping God, about pressing in, knowing that God is good, knowing that we have, no matter where we're at, we have the liberty to worship the Lord and that um, God likes it when we allow our um, love for him to overwhelm us and even his love for us to overwhelm us. So I pray that um, you and I would go deeper in our time with the Lord spend more time with the Lord worshiping and just fall in love. And maybe, well, not maybe, we'll experience, we will experience the Lord in a different way. All right. So I, I apologize. My eyes hurt <laughs> and my head. So um, I'll see you in another video and I will be better in the name of the Lord Jesus. I'll feel better in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. So Spend some time with the Lord and love on him today. All right. God bless you. Have a splendid day, a wonderful weekend in the name of Jesus. Let your love for God overwhelm you because he's so good. And because you have tasted and seen that he is good. Hallelujah. God bless you. I'll see you in another video. Choose life.